Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marquita and this is At Home with Kita. Thanks for joining me on another video, which is going to be a little bit of a switch up. I know I'm throwing a monkey wrench in Wednesdays. You guys know that I usually do menu planning Wednesdays, but I decided that it's now going to be wild card Wednesdays, which means you get to see a lot more of my planning and how I plan out my weeks and just different facets of that. And so that's what I thought I would be accomplishing by adding a wild card Wednesday as opposed to just sticking to menu planning. Wednesday which is going to be rotated throughout wildcard Wednesdays you'll get to see budget planning menu planning uh, cooking videos all different types of uh, planning related videos but it'll just be on kind of a little bit of a rotation so hopefully you'll enjoy that and seeing the different parts of how I plan my life so if you're new here on my channel I hope that you will continue to watch my videos stick around with me and also consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a big thumbs up so if you want to see how I'm going to do my budget planning then make sure to stick around. All right, guys, so this is going to be very interesting. And I think this video, it's so new to me, budget planning within my planner like this. My husband and I do have a system for our personal finances, but this is going to be quite different. And I'm a little bit nervous about it because I don't typically share so many details. And I think in my budget planning videos, I'm going to start to share a little bit more details about how I budget for my personal expenses and also my shop expenses and business and YouTube expenses. So I'll be sharing like real numbers and kind of walking you through how I plan on starting to budget and get really serious about budgeting with my expenses I'm not going to be sharing my family expenses my husband's income any of that stuff as far as household expenses we do that separately via a spreadsheet so this is only really going to be from like a business perspective and so hopefully that helps some of you guys know because I know a lot of you have shops and you have YouTube channels and um, business obligations and things like that and so again um, you're kind of taking the ride with me or the journey with me because this is all new to me I was budgeting but just a very simplified way and I'm trying to really dig deep and get very serious about it and really kind of account where things are going and how I'm spending and um, just you know try to tighten up on the budget a little bit for my personal and business expenses so that's what we'll be sharing on these budget planning videos so I'm gonna be doing my monthly planning um, and also I'm going to break down like my income and also where money is being spent in regards to my business and YouTube channel and I'm just gonna share the whole journey with you for my business expenses and budgeting so hopefully you'll enjoy this video and you'll stick around so let's go ahead and dive right in so I do have a budget section of my planner as usual you guys know I do have that section because like I said I do budget on a small scale but now I'm about to really get serious and really really try to budget because I do feel like sometimes I don't know you know where things are going and I feel like I just need to tighten up a little bit because this is my first full year of YouTube and my shops and all that stuff and I need to make sure that I'm gonna have tax money and I just really need to make sure that I'm putting things aside and really uh, being responsible with uh, what uh, income comes in and this is my full-time job just FYI also I am NOT a professional when it comes to budgeting um, normally on my budget plan with me videos which I don't really do them that often I just do a decorated spread and that's about it I think maybe one video I broke some things down but it was very vague so I'm planning on being very transparent so hopefully you guys appreciate that um, I'm not gonna share anything as far as like what's in my account and like what's in my savings and all that stuff I'm just gonna show you like what I make and how I budget that income so hopefully that is sufficient for you guys because I know you guys um, you know in an effort for you to get to know me a little bit better I thought this would be very useful and helpful to some of you and then also just to share a little bit more about me and um, different types of ways that I budget my life and I plan my life so that's what I'm hoping this whole series will do so I'm thinking I'm gonna do the budget plan with me like this at the beginning of the month and then I may do a check-in I'm not quite sure but I do want to come back and kind of tell you how things worked out and so maybe I'll do that later on in the month because I also do want to cycle in like um, some social media plan with me of course menu planning because I know a lot of you do enjoy that so I definitely want to make sure because that is my favorite part of planning that I do um, keep that going as well so the first thing that I thought I would do is just go ahead and uh, plan out my month in terms of my expenses now I don't have that many expenses um, because I am just this is just my business income um, and what I spend out for my business and I don't really spend out that much when it comes to like supplies I have to get and things I have to do in terms of my channel and my business I don't spend out that much and so I don't have that many bills and I do have some personal expenses 
businesses as well so let's go ahead and plan the month out and then I am using the happy planner budget planner so I decided to keep the bill pay checklist and so I'll write in all of my payees and then I also have an expense tracker just one page of that so that way I can write in um, some expenses that come out that I'm you know my spending or whatever so I'm gonna talk you through that as well because I have spent some stuff already it is only the what October 3rd and so of course I've got things that have already come out so I'm just going through this for the first time so again it might be a bit of a hot mess until I kind of get my groove so I have these stickers which I keep inside of my planner which came with the budget planner and then I also have this budget planning sticker box from the happy planner I decided that I want to use one of these happy notes from or which are the sticky notes from the socialite set and then I've got the budget planner um, multi-pack I think that's what it's called I've got some stickers here to redate because of course this does not come dated so I've got to date it out and then I also have the budget planner sticker book as well as some Erin Condren stickers that came in the back of an old Erin Condren planner I had. I decided to put these to the side so I can use them as well. So the first thing that I need to do is go ahead and date out my month and then we'll really dig deep into this. So you guys let me know below if this is something you want me to continue doing, um, you know, based on how I do today. Do you guys want me to continue budget planning? Because I have had quite a few of you ask me, am I gonna add more budget planning videos to my channel? And I am. And so I'm excited to give you that business perspective and real numbers from what YouTubers make. Um, I'm hoping that it helps some of you decide whether or not you wanna start a YouTube channel and just kinda see real numbers. I feel like sometimes things are so secretive within YouTube YouTube. people don't want to share things and of course that's okay you know I totally get that um, but I decided to share from a business perspective so hopefully that helps so let's go ahead and date it out and I think I'm gonna use these dates here because I love the shape of them so I'm gonna go ahead and date the entire month out and then once I get done dating the entire month out I'll come back and then I'll start to add in all of my bills and my expenses and then we'll decorate it and then we'll move on to break everything down for you All right, so I have everything dated out. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put my expenses, things that I know are recurring and that come out on a monthly basis or that I have to pay on a monthly basis. Again, I don't have that much going on because this is just my personal spending. My husband makes uh, the majority of the income, of course, and he takes care of all of the household expenses and um, you know anything we need outside of what I make. And so yeah, so I don't have that much going on. But I also do save a lot. And so I, he saves also, he saves a lot and I save a lot as well. And so that's where the majority of my income goes to, savings, because of course taxes are coming. I've never paid taxes for YouTube yet. Um, I've never paid taxes for my, my uh, shops yet because they haven't been in business long enough to pay taxes on like that. And so I have to experience that whole thing. So I need to keep some money uh, set aside for that. And also for rainy day and just incidentals and things like that, I like to put most of my money towards savings. So I first want to go ahead and grab out one of these sheets because I think they're just so cute. And I just want to add one to my planner to keep me going by let's choose well it might not be functional in terms of writing on it but i definitely want to keep it nearby okay so we've got that done then let me open up this box i have uh, the budget planning box rolls that i'm going to be using and these are going to be so functional so i'm excited to use these and i'm excited about this whole new budget thing guys i mean you guys have been asking for it and so I decided to finally do it because it's just nerve wracking, you know, sharing so much of your personal life and then also making sure you make sense and, you know, just kind of budgeting to me is just very difficult because I'm not really that good with numbers. And so it's, you know, it was a little nerve wracking to kind of think of like, you know, how to break it all down. Um, but I'm excited at the same time to just share everything with you so you guys just have real numbers and you get a sense of like, um, you know, how much you can make on YouTube and uh, with shops if you're thinking about that and just a whole stay at home mommy budget and business budget. Hopefully, you know, like I said, that helps. So again, got all that done. So now I'm going to go ahead 
ahead and let you guys know all of the expenses that I have on a monthly basis. All right, so the first thing that comes out is I actually pay for my credit card. Um, I do have a Torrid credit card. That is the only credit card that I have because I do not like credit cards and I just think that they can get you in trouble. And so I choose not to have a lot of credit cards so or any credit cards besides that one so I want to find something that I can use to indicate that and I'm just gonna keep it simple I love this to go so little by little and then I'll find a box here that I can use to just write in that credit card amount and I think the minimum payment is like $27 on that but I always pay 35 to 40 or more just so I can stay ahead and um, you know, so I just always throw extra in there if I can. I was looking for one of the boxes and I know they're here. So I've got to consider what color scheme I want to go with also. So I guess we're going with pink. And that is due on the 18th of every month. But normally I have it paid before then just because I don't, I don't like things lingering over my head. And um, in my opinion, the earlier you pay, the better off you are. I want to stagger it, but I don't think staggering it is going to work out. Okay, so that is my Torrid credit card. And I'm going to do 35. All right, and then also I pay for a music service for my YouTube channel. I have two music services, um, Epidemic Music and Soundstripe. Both of them are $15. So if you're ever wondering uh, how I get the music in my video, it's because I have one of, I use one of those two services um, and I love them, absolutely love them. So let's use one of these. The, again, these are Aaron Condren stickers and they are so cute. They were in the back of one of my planners, so I decided why not use it. All right, so that is due. Epidemic Music is due on the 20th, and Soundstripe is due on the 18th. So I've got two things that I've got to pay on the 18th. So let's grab one of these dollar signs. So cute. So this is for Epidemic. And that is $15. And so is Soundstripe. And if you're wondering about any one of those two services, I'll put a link below just in case you're curious. Um, so this is Soundstripe. But they're great for adding music and uh, you don't have to worry about any, any um, copyright issues or anything like that. So that's $15 as well. Okay, and then next up I have Rhapsody, which is my music service. So like if I go to the gym, I just wanna stream music, then um, that is what I use for that. And so let me find something that I can use for that. And that is $15 as well, and that is due on the 5th. So I'm gonna pull a sticky note for that. Actually, I'm not gonna pull a sticky note for that. I'm gonna pull an actual. Okay, and then I do have business expenses, of course. This is a business budget video of sorts. And so I looked at last month to just see how I was spending and like how much I was spending on certain things. I typically spend about $125, depending on how my month goes with my shop for sticker paper. So I'm gonna budget for that. And of course, if I spend less, then I'll just throw it into savings. And if I spend more, then um, you know, I'll just, of course, keep record of that and um, try to budget better for that next month. So let me find, um, and I'll probably, I just purchased some, so I'll probably do that mid-month, maybe like on the 15th or so, just to have the paper there. And I don't have to be worried about uh, trying to get some of that later I already have it so so let's say on the 15th of the month that I'll order sticker paper and I love this exclamation mark and I get my sticker paper from onlinelabels.com and um, and it works out very well so let's see sticker paper And that, let's 
budget one twenty five. I do also order envelopes and thank you cards and so I haven't I'm probably gonna budget that in as well I think I typically spend about forty dollars on that per month and so I definitely have to add that to the budget I'm just trying to figure out um, actual numbers I'm thinking I'm gonna budget for forty dollars for that so let me just let's just do that and I don't need any right now either so I'm thinking I probably should need some in the next maybe week or so so I'm just gonna order some on the night just in case. And I get that from Amazon. So let's say $40 for cards and envelopes. Okay. And other than that, business expense wise, I do order like um, transitions and things for my videos. Um, but I don't do that on a monthly basis. I only do that one off and I think I'm pretty good with my transitions and things like that for my YouTube videos. I've got a lot. I really don't need to buy any more. I'm a little bit obsessed with buying them and I get them from a company that does um, Final Cut Pro um, transitions and things like that. And um, they are awesome and I'll link them below just in case you're interested in purchasing them if you use Final Cut Pro like I do. I use Final Cut Pro and iMovie and so um, it's awesome and their stuff is very clean looking that's what I use for my videos the intro the transitions and the effects and stuff like that so I absolutely love them but I don't need any this month and I'm gonna try not to buy any more anytime soon so I'm not gonna budget for that okay so next thing as far as expenses go is my um, PO box I pay for but that is six months at a time I just paid for that so when I break everything down um, you'll see the numbers for that and I'm not gonna budget that in right now because again it's already paid for for six months so I really got to figure out how to um, I guess I'll just budget that as that time comes along and um, I think that's it so my total budget as far as expenses that have to be paid out is oh also I do also budget in groceries out of my business income um, so I try not to bother my husband with that because he's got enough on his plate and I try to budget $300 for groceries and so that typically is done on a weekly basis and I try to stay at about $75 a week and if I spend more than that then of course I know that I have a lesser amount that I have to work with for the remaining week so I have already done my grocery shopping for um, this first week of October which was a hundred and twenty nine dollars I think or hundred and twenty eight dollars I'll get the exact numbers okay so it was a hundred and twenty five dollars and eighty eight cents so that's how much I spent for the first week which is the first week of October and so I know that now I have a little bit less going forward but it is my big grocery shopping time um, so I ended up getting a lot other so I ended up getting a lot of things that I just needed you know up front and so it should be less going forward so let me find a grocery oh there we go so I love these little grocery bags so I'm gonna put one here and that was a one hundred and twenty five dollars and eighty eight cents and so what I have left out of three hundred dollars is I'm gonna take, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do $300 minus 125.88, which is what I just spent, and that equals 174.12, and I'm gonna divide that by one, two, three, four more weeks left in the month. So that means I can spend 43.53 on groceries for these next four weeks. Now, of course, you know, some weeks I won't need to spend as much and some weeks I will. So it'll all balance out in the end, I think. And then next month, if I see I spend a little bit more than that, then of course I'll make those adjustments as needed. So going forward, it's gonna be Sunday. And normally it is Sunday, but I was lazy. So I ended up getting the groceries on Monday this week. All right, so that was 43.53. And what I tried to do is I tried to I tried to really um, challenge myself because I did get paid from YouTube already and I did get paid from Amazon already and all of my shop income has come in for uh, September, I think with the exception of a couple of payments. And I immediately threw 
more than half of it in my savings account. So I wanted to challenge myself and see if I can work with less than $600 for the entire month. So that's what we're starting with. That's what we're budgeting with. To give you an exact number, we are starting with um, $621.39. And so it is a little bit more than $600. So that is what I'm starting with. And that's what I want to budget with for the entire month. So I'm not going to touch any money that I put in my savings, um, which was a lot. Um, again, it was more than half of the income that I brought in. And so I'm trying to challenge myself. So this should all work itself out. And yeah, so that's what we're, that's what we're doing because I really wanna tighten up and I think that should be sufficient if my husband's paying all of the majority of the bills and I'm just paying for my business expenses and my personal expenses and groceries, I think it should work out. So again, last week or this next week is gonna be 43, 53 and then I need one more. And so again, wherever I spend a little bit more, then I'll have to take away from other weeks and wherever I spend less, then I can add to other weeks and I'm just hoping it all works out. I've been pretty much able to stay around that amount, especially if we don't eat out. So that's my um, challenge as well, to not eat out. We were trying to take a trip this weekend, which we may or may not do. And if we do, then I do have some money reserved for that. And if we don't spend that um, money, which isn't factored into this at all, then we're gonna use it for a project around the house. So I have already, allocated that to that and um, so we have already planned for that but that is not factored in this at all so I put all of the groceries there and so let's see do we have anything else so that's it so the only thing I pay for out of the business income and my personal income and things I got to do for the household what little bit I do I know right but um, but again I'm, I try to be pretty responsible and normally I do budget but I just don't budget this in depth and I don't budget on paper like this um, my husband and I have a spreadsheet and then I kind of just work it all out you know with with this normally but again I'm trying to get really serious about budgeting and really see where everything is going and look back on it and um, and so I'm hoping that's what this does for me and so I've got everything laid out here um, groceries again I've got my uh, order sticker paper order cards and envelopes my Rhapsody music service my Soundstripe my tort credit card and my epidemic music service that's it this is everything that I pay so my total expenses um, amount up to five hundred and forty five dollars so that's how much is coming out this month for my expenses again we have six hundred and twenty one dollars and thirty nine cents that we can work with or that we're trying to work with so that gives me a little leeway and so if I need to buy anything else outside of this or something changes with this I think I have a little bit of leeway um, there and I I'm pretty sure I can stay on budget I get paid on the 21st for my YouTube channel and then for Amazon I get paid at the end of the month and so what I'm gonna try to do is since I'm keeping uh, the 621 which is left over from September and I'm using it for October and I'm trying to stay within that amount I am NOT gonna spend any of that additional money um, that comes in on the 20th and at the end of the month I'm, I'm just gonna hold on to as much of that as I can put most of it in my savings and then next month I'm gonna start budgeting budgeting out of that money so if that makes sense so I'm always kind of working with the money from the month before if that makes sense and so I'm thinking that 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 should be helpful just so it's not confusing because I could have technically gone and done a budget from the 20th to the 20th of next month but in my head that would have been just too confusing so I decided to just reserve some money from the previous month and use that going into the next month and just do that month by month and I'm thinking that'll work out for me so that's the plan all right, so I'm gonna just make it a little bit more decorative. So I have this happy memory keeping sticker book here and I saw some flowers in here that I wanted to use. So we're just gonna make it look cuter and then we will move on to phase two of this process. All right, just to give it a little flavor. I think that's all I wanted to add. For now, okay, so we've got all of our expenses. I feel like I do wanna add something else. I have this washi here. How about I add something from here? And I think I also want to put one of these cute little pigs at the end of the month because I like to save and I have a goal in mind 
and I'll, sh I'll talk you through that when I get to that section of this video but I'm gonna write that figure in here so hopefully I remember to do it I'll just tell you now because I'll probably forget so the amount that I want to save this month is gonna be eight hundred and fifty dollars so I think that's a real realistic goal because I'll probably in the end be able to save more than that but I like to have a goal um, so that way I can um, you know just have something to strive for so I think the spread looks decent um, it could be cuter of course it can always be cuter but it's very simplified and that's the goal here just to budget not to worry so much about decoration so now I'm gonna move on to writing out the expenses here what I just told you about so we're just writing it in here and so I'm gonna put groceries first And that has no due date and it is $300 and then next up I want to write it in order is Rhapsody and that's $15 and that is due on the 5th and then we've got our cards and envelopes. And I said $40. $40. And I want to purchase that on the 9th. And then I want to order sticker paper. And that is going to be on the 15th, $425. Next up is Soundstripe and Torrid. Soundstripe and Torrid is due on the 18th. Sometimes it looks good to see it like this, just so you can kind of see it like at a glance all on one page. $15 and then $35 and then Epidemic Music and eventually I will um, cut one of these music services out. It's just that I like them both for different reasons. $15. So I'm keeping them both for now. And that's it. That is it. And I'm not going to write savings on there just yet because I'm just not. Okay, so if we total everything out, it should amount to what I said earlier, which is I think $545. So let's just total it out just to make sure. And remember this month we have $600. $21.39 to work with and I've already put my money in savings. So the amount of $8.50 that I want to save is actually going to be at the end of the month because I already have my savings put aside for September. So that's going to be for October. So this is the magic number. Well, not the magic number, but this is the number we're working with. $5.45. That's how much I have um, budgeted out that I will spend for this month. And so let's write what the difference should be. So I said $6.21. should equal 7639 it's actually 545 7639 if all goes well and everything goes according to plan I should have seventy six dollars and thirty nine cents to work with and so that'll give me some leeway just in case I need anything for myself. Um, anything comes up last minute, then I'll have that much to work with if I spend too much in groceries or anything like that. Because I do have personal things that I need. Um, but again, I did spend some money already. So we also have to factor that in because um, I haven't done that yet. And that's going to come out of the $76.39. So now we're going to actually see what we spent so far. Now we haven't spent the entire $300 for groceries. We only spent a certain amount, but we're just going to keep the budget as 
is and we're just going to pull out of here um, anything other than this that I spent already so let me just pull up my account and let me just do a quick check because I know I did um, spend a little bit of money I did go to Hobby Lobby and grab some budget stickers because I needed them right and so let's see so debit card and then I bought gas so let's see today is the third three gas oops that goes here I spent ten dollars on gas just to get me to the next location but of course I'm gonna have to fill up soon and then I also I use acorns um, some of you may be familiar with that but what it does is it auto debits the amount that you want it to take out of your account um, it can do it based on what you spend so it'll take a certain amount based on like if you use your debit card it'll just uh, like round up or whatever your settings are it'll automatically put that in your acorns account and also in addition to that I have a set amount going to my acorns based on how much I make so that's already set in place and that just is uh, considered savings to me so I Already this month it's taken out ten dollars and twelve cents for acorns so that was today also so it took out ten dollars and twelve cents so that is actually considered savings so that will be subtracted from the eight hundred and fifty dollars I told you guys that I wanted to save that goes towards that because acorns and the actual physical amount that I'm putting in savings is all a part of that 850 and then shh, let's see what else I also bought groceries which I already told you about and I think that is it because I have my money split up in multiple accounts I have PayPal um, because with my shop some money goes into PayPal some goes into my bank account so I factor all that into the budget and what I do is I just don't spend anything in PayPal and at the end of the month I transfer it all over into my bank account if that makes sense and so let me just see if Oh, I did tell you I went to Hobby Lobby. So $25.41. And I also went to Zaxby's and Checkers. So $6.35 was for Zaxby's. I keep writing it in the wrong place. And then this is for Checkers. So this is all going to change this month, guys, because... I mean, I know we're already three days in and I already went to Checkers and Zaxby's, which I shouldn't have. But, you know, sometimes the kids want things and I have the munchies for something and I want to get something. And so that's what I do. So that is bad. So I'm trying to cut that out. So that was on the first was Checkers, 10, 1 and 10, 2 was Zaxby's. And then also that is Hobby Lobby, which was today. And so technically I'm not taking that out of my income because that is savings and I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to do that. But it did come out of the amount that I have here. So I'll have to figure all that out y'all. I'm still trying to work this whole thing out of my head. So that was acorns. Okay. So that's what I've spent so far. So let me just see how much I actually really have left. So $76.39 minus $10 minus $25.41 minus $6.35 minus $6.35. $40.98. I'm not going to factor that acorns in. I'll deal with that later. So $40.98 is what I have left. So let me just do this. Total it out real quick right here. So, 40.98 is what I have to work with. And that doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, again, I'm really pushing myself this month. And if I can't make it happen, I can't make it happen, but I'm really gonna try to push myself. So if I need any personal items or anything like that, that's all gonna come out of this. And otherwise, I don't need anything else because again, my husband pays for you know all of our household expenses, anything the kids need or anything like that, he deals with that stuff. Uh, we budget that separately. So that is the amount that I have left over. So that is my expense tracker. And what I'll do is I'll continue to add to this as needed. I do also use a mini happy planner where within that planner, I uh, write things out on the go and so I'll transfer that here as needed. But again, if all goes well and I just spend this amount, 
um, and I don't splurge because I've already splurged with Hobby Lobby, Zaxby's and Checkers, um, then I should be okay and I should be able to just work with that um, for the rest of the month. So that's the plan y'all, that's the plan. So I've got this page and then I've got the back of this page to work with. So now let me break down my income and kind of tell you guys all about, you know, where I'm going to be starting for um, next month because again like I said I'm just gonna work with what I have in you know now and once I get paid on the 21st and, and, and at the end of the month then all of that will go towards November's budget but I want to break that down for you just so you can kind of see on a typical month um, how things will be because it may not always be this um, it, it may be different but this is just the reasoning in my head um, I'll break it all down on paper for you so that way you'll know kind of where I'm going and for the future you know how I plan on saving and all that stuff this is just a, a different type of month because we're starting out on this whole journey so I'm gonna grab a sheet of paper and we're gonna break it all down I'm going to actually use one of these sticky notes from the happy notes because I'm planning on just putting it right on the back of here. I don't need a full sheet of paper now that I think about it. So let's grab, let's grab this green one here. Green is for money, right? So I'm gonna grab that. Okay, so I think I just wanna paste it right here, right? Or do I wanna put it on the dashboard? I don't have a dashboard for my budget keeping. I could put it here, right? Yeah, let's put it here just so I can see it right in front of me. All right, so this is gonna be income. All right, so here is how it goes. So I have three different sources of income. I have YouTube. I have Amazon, so Amazon affiliate which means like anytime you see a link in my video and you click on the link, I get a small commission from that. Trust me, it's very small. And um, I also have my Shopify stores. Shops. And those are my three main sources of income. And so my Shopify shops consist of my Little Miss Fancy Plan sticker shop, as well as my The Party Girl Studio um, party shop. And so that's, that's what Shopify encompasses, if that makes sense. And then, um, of course, like I said earlier, YouTube, Amazon. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way. So on Amazon, and um, what I did is I just took an average from previous months, actually from last month, to see exactly how much I made on my Shopify shop, and then Amazon tells you the exact amount that you're gonna get for the next month, and YouTube does as well. So based on what uh, YouTube tells me I'm going to make for October, or what I'm gonna get paid for October, which is from September, it's going to be $15.9902. And then according to previous months, my projection for my shops is going to be, oh, also I have one more shop. It's DigiPrints Boutique on Etsy. And so that is completely separate. And so my DigiPrints is not that much because it's all digital stuff. And I project that I'm gonna make $140 off of that shop this month. And then for my Shopify shops combined, based on, again, previous months, I am going to do, I project that I'm gonna do $1,100 based off of last month. Now that could be way different because I typically average between, you know, $1,000 to $2,000 on my shop. I know that's a broad range. So it's really hard to tell and I won't know that until the end of the month. But if it's over that, then that's just more money that I can save, right? And let me zoom you in because I feel like you're way far up. Let me zoom you in. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. All right, so DigiPrints Boutique, 140. Shopify, all of my Shopify shops combined, 1100. And Amazon told me that I was going to make $289.12. Okay, so now that we have that all out the way, my total income is going to be $1,000. 
And again, YouTube is on 1021. Amazon is like on 1030. And then my Shopify shop stuff is just throughout the month. So I can't tell you the exact date that I'm gonna get paid. They're constantly making deposits and so is Etsy. So again, I am planning on not spending any of this money um, and budgeting out this money for November. So we're not even gonna be dealing with this. I just wanna break it down and kind of tell you um, how much a typical month um, income wise would be. And so the total amount, if I add all of that up, is 31.28.14. Okay, and so what I wanna take away from that for this month, because again, I've already put my money in savings for September. So for October, how much I wanna put aside for savings in my Acorn account based on previous months, hundred dollars and we already have ten dollars and something cents that already went in there from what I just showed you and then my actual savings is going to be seven hundred and fifty dollars and once I get paid I automatically throw that in so once YouTube um, posts the money to my account I'll automatically put in seven hundred and fifty dollars and acorn is taken throughout the month based on my spending habits so that's where we come to eight hundred and fifty dollars could be more because again 3128 is my income so if I'm only putting 850 to the side for savings and then I'm only um, budgeting out in terms of expenses five hundred and forty five dollars that still leaves a huge margin and so technically I should have a lot more to be able to throw into savings because if we take my total income of 312814 minus my expenses of 545 minus my savings of 850. Let me tell you what we're gonna have left. That'll leave 1733.14. So that's why I'm doing this whole budget because I just feel like you know, sometimes the money gets lost. I don't know where everything is going to. Um, I'm trying to really hone in on my spending habits because maybe I'm spending too much. So I'm just trying to narrow down exactly how much I should have left, how much I'm spending, where it's all going. So according to this right here, I should have 1733.14 left over. That's a lot. And so now I can start really, really digging deep to see how I can allocate funds better, um, how I can save more, and just, you know, where the money is going to. Um, I also do have to save a certain percentage for taxes, which according to my research is 30%. So if we take 1733.14 times 30%, I should be saving that amount of money and putting it aside for savings for, um, for taxes. So let me write that in, and then we'll tell you how much we really have to work with. 519.94. So 1733.14 minus 519.94 is left over for the month. If all goes well, I should have 12.13.20. So budgeting is important, y'all, because I've just been kind of floating a little bit and um, now I can see that I can save more because I've been just kind of throwing in what I think is good and it has been good for the most part. But now I see that I probably can save more like maybe, you know, a thousand dollars or more. And that's awesome. That's really, really awesome. And I'm not sure if 30% is correct for taxes. It's just what I found by doing my research. It could be less than that. It could be more than that. And so I think by just putting that aside, that will protect me so that we don't have no issues in the future. And I'm looking forward to that. So I just really wanted to come on and do more budget videos and break everything down and show you guys realistically how much you can make on YouTube, how much you can make if you're thinking about starting a shop. I'm just real numbers, um, you know, in terms of business planning and, um, you know, how to budget those types of expenses so as you can see I don't have too much going on don't have too much to pay but now I can take more responsibility if I need to pull some things off of my husband I can do that because I now know a true number with what I have going on so again I have uh, four main sources of income my YouTube my Amazon my Shopify shops which is two shops and my digi Prince digital boutique shop on Etsy and so um, those are my sources of income I pull in about 3128 from all of that combined and then I throw um, this amount in savings normally I try to do more if I can of course sometimes it's less because this is my 
my highest month on YouTube. I've never made $1,600 on YouTube before. And so it seems to be increasing. So of course, the more it increases, the more taxes I'll have to pay, the more responsibility I'll have financially. And so, you know, that's something that I have to consider as well. And so that's basically it. I don't, I don't have too much going on. But again, since I know that I have this amount left, I can allocate funds um, more effectively. And that's the point here, right? To budget is is important now you know that I wrote it out I can kind of get a clear view of everything I have going on so hopefully this works for me I'm super excited to take this journey again this is my um, money that I make off of my YouTube Amazon Shopify my digi prints uh, digital boutique that's my total income this is how much I project them to have left in October so I've got quite a bit to work with that is my monthly spread broken down by uh, the bills and when they're due and then this is everything broken out on one page. Uh, that is how much I would have had left had I not spent this other stuff already this month. And so that is what we have to work with for the remainder of the month, which is gonna be a real challenge, but I'm up for the challenge because I don't feel like I need anything else right now. So any personal things that come up, um, I think that should be sufficient. And if it's not, I'll make the adjustments wherever I need to. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. I think the more I do these types of videos, the better I will get. And so if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them below. Let me know if you have any questions about YouTube, um, any of this business income and all of this, I'm willing to answer any questions about. I'm not going to really go into our um, household income and what my husband makes and, and all of that stuff. Um, so let's keep it separate. And so hopefully this is an interesting perspective. I don't know if there are many um, people willing to share their shop income and their YouTube income like on this type of level. So hopefully this helps some of you. And so make sure to ask me any questions that you have and I'm willing to share what I know, which is not that much. And so again, this is it. So this is what we're working with. So hopefully I can come back at the end of October and I can share some real numbers and I can break down if this actually worked out and how it is going and it actually won't be at the end of October because this is going to be income that comes in in October but it'll be budgeted for November so when I come back to do my check-in it'll be based on these numbers here so hopefully I can stay on track and so you know and then as time goes along again I'll get better at these videos and I'll really be able to figure out how to do them more effectively because I kind of feel like I was all over the place so hopefully you don't feel like that and you feel like you got a little bit of inspiration and value from it so thanks guys so much for watching today. I appreciate you stopping in on my channel and I hope that you will consider subscribing and also giving me a big thumbs up. Let me know if you like these types of videos, if you want me to continue them going forward and you know I will do that. I did enjoy this because it really gave me more of a sense of what I have going on as opposed to just kind of flying by the seat of my pants, so to speak. Um, I'm looking forward to many more budget videos. So thanks again for stopping in and I hope that you guys will catch me on the next video, in which case I'll see you then.